Hello, it's Zach with a podcast named Tim back again. I know we've been a little light on some of the videos recently. Work has been crazy, but I uh, felt it appropriate to do a video since uh, we were exactly one week away from Power Rangers Dino Fury debuting uh, on Nickelodeon. Exactly, this video is dropping at 8 a.m. and next week at this time, you don't have to look at me. You can go watch actual Power Rangers. Uh, of course, this is going to be uh, the 28th season of Power Rangers and the fourth to use uh, uh, dinosaurs as uh, as the theme, the motif, and I uh, felt it right to kind of just give some general thoughts about what we know so far and a kind of a little preview about what um, you might see. There may be some spoilers, so if you want to go in completely um, without knowing anything, then you know, just uh, come back to this video afterwards and see if I knew what I was talking about. Um, but uh, other than that, I did want to say as far as show notes and kind of what we're going to be doing uh, moving forward, we're going to be trying to get, we have two more episodes, I think, for Mighty Morphin Power Ranger reviews before we get to the uh, the Green Ranger uh, debut, that five episode um, uh arc and so we're going to do those two episodes and then kind of take a pause to focus on dino fury um and beast morphers so we're going to try and get those dino fury episodes out for our reviews out uh, as soon as possible as far as after an episode comes out and uh hopefully you'll we can all talk and enjoy the ride together um so uh, please give the video a thumbs up and uh let's go ahead and get into what we know about power rangers dino fury so far uh, it is based on, I'm probably going to butcher this, Kishiro uh, Sentai Raisoga. I've listened to it like 50 times, uh, and I probably still butcher it. Kishiro Sentai Raisoga, uh, which roughly translates to uh, Night Dragon Squadron. So uh, an interesting theme. I guess we're going to have much more um, uh, medieval theme, which is interesting because when you read the official synopsis, on, I think I found it on Power Ranger Wiki, one of those fandoms. It says, when an army of powerful alien beings is unleashed on Earth, threatening life as we know it, a brand new team of Power Rangers, fueled by prehistoric power of the dinosaurs, are recruited to deal with the threat. General theme and synopsis, synopsis but I thought it was weird that I talked about them being aliens, but we have a much more, I'm assuming, medieval themed monsters and, and villain. Um, so, uh, it'll be interesting to see kind of how they, uh, progress with it. I should say with the, the Super Sentai, I have not seen it, don't know anything about it. Um, but other than it exists, but it was from 2019, if I recall. Uh, the main villain, as I mentioned, is Void Knight. And, um, I hope he ends up not being the big, big bad and maybe someone else supplants him. The reason I say that is it's a very sleek design. Um, you know, but it just kind of looks like a generic purple knight. Um, it looks more like a monster of the week or a general uh, than the main, you know, villain warlord. Um, and so I hope the character really brings it because aesthetically, while nice, it just doesn't have that main villain feel to it. Uh, but Void Knight is a very cool name, so that is uh, he's going to be, a, in, I guess, the big bad. There are going to be twenty eight episodes. Uh, starting with Destination Dino Hinge. And again, that's going to be one week from today, 8 a.m. on Nickelodeon. Um, as far as the Rangers that we know so far, uh, there there's a, a video that drops the theme song. Uh, it's like 30 seconds. Um, so we know the, the new theme, and we've seen kind of who the, the main Rangers are going to be. Um, it's a Dino Fury Red Ranger. His name is Zaito, played by Russell Curry. His uh, sword is the T-Rex Champion Sword, of course, based off of T-Rex. There is uh, Ali Akana, I guess I'd say, say that, played by uh, Kai Moya. He's the Dino Fury Blue Ranger. He has the Tricera Blade Sword, which, of course, is Triceratops based. So getting some old school Mighty Morphin vibes there. We have uh, Amelia Jones, played by Hunter Dino. She's the pink uh, Dino Fury Ranger. She has the Ankylo hammer uh, Zord is based off an Ankylosaurus, which I didn't know what that was. I had to go look it up. It's kind of like the, uh, the dinosaur that has a lot of the spikes and like the big club uh, for, a, for a tail, which makes sense with the hammer theme there. 
Um, those are the three that are only in the actual intro theme. So I'm assuming the other Rangers, because it's Power Rangers, there's always more Rangers being added, are going to be added in later. But we do know who some of them are. Uh, the Green Ranger is Izzy Garcia, played by Tessa Rowe. Uh, she has the Tiger Claw Zord, uh, which is a saber-toothed tiger-based, uh, much like Trini. Not only is it um, uh, a, another saber-toothed tiger-based sword, but also the uh, actor in Super Sentai was a male, and it's going to be a female playing the the American lead here in Power Rangers. So interesting that both of the, the saber tooth Tiger Zords all these years later had that. Um, and uh, the Black Ranger is Javier Garcia, played by Ch uh, Chance uh, Perez, and he has the Stego Spike Sword, which is, of course, based on Stego Swords. So those are the main ones we have. There's also going to be a Gold Ranger, but I haven't been able to see any other information on who is playing him, the character's name. So maybe it'll be someone from the past. Who knows? Sometimes they like to do that. But um, that's pretty much the main stuff I've seen. Um, just going around. I didn't want to take too deep of a dive because I do want to you know, experience it firsthand. Uh, but again, we're going to be doing our, our Power Ranger uh, uh, Dino Fury reviews. We're going to get them out as quick as we can um, with, with editing and figuring all that out. Um, uh, hope to have them out at least by they're going to be out by by before the next episode comes out obviously but hoping for like a Tuesday release um, but we'll see and uh, other videos to look out for other than the Power Ranger Mighty Morphin reviews uh, of course we have our Star Wars stuff and I think I'm going to be doing a top 10 uh, ratings uh, of top 10 uh, uh, seasons of Power Rangers since we are entering the 28th Probably a good time to take a look at where we are, uh, survey the, the the land, and survey everything else that's happened before it. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, looking forward to it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on if you're excited for Dino Fury. If you're not excited, I know you know always when a new season of Power Ranger come comes out, it's always um, everyone gets excited, but then the. Sometimes it seems to fade. People always kind of have mixed reactions. It's like, oh, this is the greatest Power Rangers, or ah, it's not as good as insert Power Rangers. And so um, the theme was eh, not great. I didn't think it was it was very average. And then the um, but the Megazord that I saw uh, looked pretty awesome. And I do I do like the suits from uh, from what I've seen. So. Um, pretty much, pretty digging a lot of the, the aesthetics of the show. I went and looked at a couple of the, I think they're called Sporks Beasts. I don't know that, if that's how it's going to be pronounced, but they're the the villains of the week, kind of what they're going to be called. And uh, I liked a lot of the aesthetics for the couple that I've seen there. Um, so uh, looking forward to, to getting into that theme, and hopefully they'll deliver with some really cool monsters, because that's what we do here. We rate monsters. So um, if you've never seen our reviews, Basically, we do a quick review of an episode and then do a monster rating based on about five categories. So uh, it's look, uh, design of the look, the voice, the powers, the plan, and the success against the Rangers. So be on the lookout for those and check out some of our other reviews of Mighty Morphin and Beast Morphers uh, if you want to get a feel for what they're like. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, looking forward to uh, getting into some... Uh, some dino fury here. So let me know your thoughts and we'll see you next time on a podcast named Tim.